Sorry, a little bit late on that. Uh, this is Kotel. Uh, we got another smoke and steel event. This one is the, um, the first map. It is a Cox's push. I do apologize. I did not have all my settings set. I am coming in very late here. It is SB versus 8th Alabama, and we'll just get straight into the action here. So no need for any further intros. It's like an early push by the Union up onto this uh, Union left. So you say right, I always uh, support this endeavor. They probably have guys to protect the guns up there, but we want to aim for the cannon area. Uh, do they? It's not like they do not. Just get it so it sticks in the ground, like in front of the green bush. And the Union has capped early uh, with some elements here while the rest of the Union is poised at the top of the hill. Waiting to come down and hit him. I kind of like the setup that the Union has here. Um, let's see, who is this by? I'm working with grabbing, one monitor. I'm grabbing I'm canister. I know, I know. Whenever you're ready. Let's pass them down the elevation a little. So this yeah. must be a strategy from the SB here. And it looks like Zap is in charge of it. So um, I very much like the way that they have started out this fight here. Trying to tempt the uh, CSA out into the open uh, to get hit. So far, though, the CSA has not uh, bit them. 8th Alabama, my name, Ryder, is the other commander leading this force here. And I might not be talking too much here, so I'll probably try to get some more cinematic views. I saw Cody was in here earlier. So I hope this. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still in here. He probably is. Uh, he had a really nice video on this event from last week, so hope to see, glad to see him back in, hopefully seeing some more vids. He does a really good job on the cinematic side of it. Um, so. Not too bad. But, I mean, the thing is, you can, you can hold on to this. You don't need to fall back, you know. As long as you're, you know, staying in here, flag is up. Spawning Die in, standing, boys. you know, six men every five, uh, thirty seconds here. You can, you can, you can hand, you can take some of those shots here, as long as it's all in line here. You've got Fifth Florida here trying to put in some fire to keep them a little bit busy. Uh, let's see, Union losing a little bit on casualties, but again, I, mean, I don't. I think this is actually a really good strategy. I like the way this is kind of. Uh, going so far. But again, the CSA is also, I think, doing a really good job of not letting them get unhinged here, and they're going to try to milk some tickets here before going into recap. So as long as they're not taking casualties at an aggressive rate, that is, uh, that might be the way to counter this, so we will see. Loaded! 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 Take a look at this other side here. <laughs> Color everyone, plus the eight. Slightly to the right, boys, southwest. I'll run down the line and pass it around. Pass it down the line, pass it down the line. Ah, oh, never mind, okay. Talk VA, make sure to focus your car. There's a big company to the south, southwest. You need to get a nice long battle line here, kind of open order. Again, they are losing a bit of tickets here. I'm trying to figure out where the ticket loss is really coming from. I'm not seeing too many drop bodies here. Get your loads, get your loads, get your loads, get your loads, get your loads. Get your loads, get your loads. They've already lost below half on their morale state. Is it coming from here? What's this morale state coming from? Keep shooting, you dirty dog! Get behind these rocks! 
Well, wherever it is, looks like the CSA is... Oh, uh, well, that probably wasn't... Well, no, these guys were all getting up. Not too many. Looks like only one or two. I don't think that would be too much of it. But it is enough for Bruges to bring 9th Corps back a little bit. But I think if the CSA can kind of keep this up and kind of knock down the Union a bit here, um, I think they're okay for now. 15 minutes on the counterattack. Part of the crew, part of I've been hitting on the left. Good hell, boy. And we got CQB. This corner here. Oh, good. General Cody is in here. So that is good. He is spectating. So I'll be looking forward to checking out his video. Like I said, he does very cinematic views. Looks like Fifth is trying to move up here to try to deal with this already. If that's what's really hurting them right now. Again, you're in formation as long as you're not kneeling, and which these guys are not doing, you won't be losing too many casualties off of it. You got FSB out here. Line Take aim. Dress left. Take aim. Targets to the north. They seem to be fucking us up. Fire. Dress left. Dress left. I do like that they are kind of inching down here. <coughs> the reason I say that is at some point the CSA is going to have to make a play for this center. Um, 1350 I don't think is enough time to get down to the last stand, so. That two corner, very nice open order. Looks like 9th Corps is going to move over here off of 59th. The one thing I'm going to be curious on, I'm going to take a look at right now, is how they're doing on ammo management. Now there's only um, two cannons yeah, up here, please. so they are a little bit limited yeah, on yeah, ammo. I see they're already talking about like it, which like is a sign change. of a good already crew. Good they are considering their ammo yeah. management. Alright, so we've got Shell on the way, gun one. a little bit of case left. Actually, all their case left. Four shell left, three canister. And let's see, this guy's shell is gone, so now it's down to case. So... They're okay for now, but uh, the problem is going to be if this fight really drags out here, the Artie is not going to be the uh, force it could be. But you did see that the 5th NC has had to fall back over here. They were not able to restrain the Artie like they were hoping to. Get up! Dress! Cannon coming dress in right, on the FSB. Dress right, dress right. They're getting close now to engaged. Dress right. 12 minutes remaining, though, and CSA starting to lose oh, some fuck. tickets as well. That's right. That's it, that's right. Ship right, ship right. Uh, ship right, ship right. We're shifting back. Again, I think I, I like both of the strategies so far. This is a very restrained, very uh, deliberate battle plan by both, and both are doing a fairly good job at it. Ooh, I missed a good one up here, it looks like. Nice bit of jam. Over here, over here. Got dialed in. I'm going to head down and see how much the CSA is actually doing here. They have a nice L formation, as you can see. Off of this main point with some skirms over here. We hold it right there, boys! Oh, right here. Go on the line. Go on the line. be okay with that. Damn, it's like a real war. Oh, hello. 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 Now there is steam chat, so they're all communicating. Yeah, 
And the benefit of that, though, is you increase your cover, you minimize your, your, your space, and then you're also decreasing your ticket exposure. So you're losing less tickets uh, if, as long as you get killed in formation. By the way, I'm doing the flag stuff a little bit just so I can uh, try to get a picture for how many are going down on these shots here. Oh, we got Bradley in here as well. He's one of the devs. So, a lot of people watching this one, which is always good. Bradley's writing his uh, dissertation on the Vicksburg campaign. Uh, so definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what he produces out of that study. You can see them just to our south, boys. They're poking up over the hill. Oh, that was good. Good. And they're, and they're good. A couple of them went down. They're oh, getting hurt. Get I say Sarn Crunch now used to be a captain. No, Matt. Where? He's one of my favorite uh, NCOs. Where did he get shot? Very, uh... He's spawning in right now. My first respawn. You know, he's what you want from an NCO. You know, he, he, he commands respect, but he also keeps it, uh... He makes the orders clear, but it's also in a fun... Guard, you know, thanks. So, ooh, nice little hit here from the Artie. But again, you see a lot of them are getting up here. So you know, you got corded here with two core. You know, they because of the open order, which is a very good you know technique that they're using here. They're not the Artie's not really having as big effects as it could be. Now, okay, so now the CSA is doing the charge forward here. CB is in the lead with Senor Daz, and they are going to try to recap this point here. The Union is pulling back here. This is going to be to see where, if the uh, Union could put some major fire onto the CSA as they're recapping. But the CSA is also doing a decent job of open order. Hey, move up, move up. Get the time back. We'll see if... Now, I guess the, the question is, do they contest the point, or are they going to make a play for this corner here? And I think I have my answer. They are making a play for this corner, and this will be a very decisive fight. It is Natty and the 12th VA along with CQB on the corner. Can they hold? This will be the question. Here comes Tukor. I, I don't want to either, man. I wouldn't. So here's where the plan comes to fruition. We'll see. How much damage this Union attack can do to the CSA force over here. Here comes JD, Major Remix coming in. Oh, but here comes this is CB with the counterattack. It's going to try to uh, collapse this foothold that they have. There is a Union force up here that was over there. They've redeployed, and now they've come over here. A very smart redeployment here, in my opinion, by the FSB, along with Sussy Brigade here. Flood in and try to still contest this corner here. CSA has recapped a timely already shot. Can they close the distance here? That is some music I am unfortunately going to have to move away from a little bit. Oh, wait a second here. What was this here? A nice maneuver here, in my opinion, from Riley and the 10th U.S. to kind of get some uh, flanking fire into the Union line here as they go for this corner. But the Union is still fighting for this corner, and they're driving forward. Can they take the corner here? It is a dogfight. And Riley is going to countercharge in. He knows he needs to try to push these guys off as best he can. 12th VA still excellent job here keeping these flags back here and not getting them knocked down. And that might be the key, keeping those flags back. Because that has allowed them to get enough reinforcements in. Likely to knock off the Union. The Union is doing a... Eh, they got all four, four of their flags, but not everybody spawned. A lot of guys are spawning back at Maine. I don't know why. You got four flags up here. Man, you could be getting... Ah, uh, 24 mana, 30 seconds, 48 per minute. That is a lot of manpower you could have flooding in here. But now, because the CSA, I think, did a better job of getting their manpower back, they, I think, are going to be able to hold this corner. But the Union is flooding in. We'll see if 9th Corps can make the difference here. Oh, but Artie has something to say about that. 10th U.S. on the Artie. Knock it down. Two shots coming in. Well, good. Nice shots by that Artie. Uh, that, that is, that is, I, I don't know about that. 
Yeah, see, the Union is still flooding in here. And that is coming down to these flags being over here. The problem for the Union, I think, is, though, that uh, this corner is, is sucking away their tickets. Uh, we'll see. Now it's going to be much harder for them to do another play at point without being in danger of getting last stand to themselves here. But we will see. Again, who is this? 10th U.S., same play. Excellent play, in my opinion. Coming out and shooting the Union in the side here. You got some of JD coming here trying to upset that uh, line here a little bit. Not a bad little idea. Keep them a little bit off balance. But so far, the CSA has not fallen here. Again, great job with these flags here. Being able to have that kind of respawn point. That little sustainment. Kind of an ISB, if you will. And they have been able to keep it up. Here's that already coming in again. And the Union is now at taking losses here at the 37-minute mark. Not even. And the order is push them off. I, I, I can understand the uh, desire, and frankly, I think that's the only thing you can do. Um, but the problem is, you can see the CSA line here. It's just going to devastate them as they go in here. And, oh, wait, here comes that charge. Now that they've exposed their flank, good timing here by these units, 10th U.S. in particular, is going to be able to come in and knock out those flags, knock out that sustainment. And those flags are going to have to fall back, and now the CSA is going to pick up a ton of skirmishing and out-of-line tickets here and secure that point. Three tickets, you heard them. Let's see how far they, the CSA is able to pursue this. They don't want to get too strung out themselves. Let's go. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Grab the flag. Get those goddamn colors out. What are you doing? And that. That is the key. Go. Grab the flag. You hear the man. Protect me, brothers. Protect me. Oh, no. Protect this. Protect this guy. Protect this guy. Protect this guy. Protect this guy. Go. South. Now. Protect this guy. Up hill. Come on. He is. He is right. That's what you need to do. Listen to Mr. Zap. They're going to have to reset now. Now, the good thing is about that whole engagement. So they've gotten their flags out. What are you still doing here? Come on, let's go. You, what are you doing? Come on. Come on. Nolan, you know better. What are you doing? No know better, Nolan. Um. Get Dragon here to yell Odin to get you to move. Oh. All right, so... Let's kind of reset and see where we're at now. So the CSA has held. Um, the Union is a little bit behind on tickets, but not not too bad, too bad. Now, they have plenty of time. They have oodles of time right now. It's at 35-minute mark. CSA is at uh, engage, but they're close now to taking losses. Um, as far as their ammunition goes, you can see now here's where the problem begins. So they have... Looks like three canister and one case left for this gun. And only two canister left for this gun. So the Artie is not quite out, but they are very much low on ammunition now. So it's going to be much harder to rely on the CSA to get those tickets from these long-distance shots. There was one making it worth it. An excellent shot. But again, they only have so many of those left now. And the Union, I think, well, there's a couple good shots from that volley down there from the CSA. We'll see if the Union is thinking of doing that. If Zap is thinking about, okay, let's slow the battlefield down now a little bit here. Get them down to taking losses close to breaking here and maybe catch up on tickets a little bit. Um, he could try for another cap. I would be hesitant to do so this time. The reason I say that is until you get them down to taking losses, that's a lot of time to be on cap. And they may be able to. Another canister shot coming in. I'd be a little bit more judicious in how I'm using this artillery at this moment. I know it's, uh, you know, you see targets you want to shoot. But uh, once it's gone, it's gone. 
Oh shit, he's there. Forgot Black Boss, sir. Oh shit. And a lot of concentration of fire on the FSB. I would honestly let the Union cap right now. I think I would not. I would let the FSB cap here. And um, you know, do they? They do indeed. I'm like, oh my god. My face, my face, turn around. Our men are running for the battle. Shameful display. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I think it's the right decision. Uh, I think, uh... Yeah, what Schnitt said, uh... I think death, he's got the right uh, idea. Mr. Tanben? Mr. Tanben, yes. Get out of here, death man! I would not cap at the moment. So, they were trying to maybe draw some fire. Maybe try to, uh, you know, elicit a reaction. But so far, the CSA team has been very well disciplined in their deployments and their actions. So sending a little bit. See, this I'd like to see. Just a little bit of 12th VA going out to recap. Not a lot of men, just enough to do the job. Are we capturing or are we just, are we just tickling? Well, you're, you already own the point, so you're not capturing, really. You're just kind of getting the point back up again. Um, although I would, like I said, I'd try to, you know, bait a cap if I could. Um... Oh yeah, no, no, no. Ain't nothing personal. Y'all can do your music. That's all I gotta do when I see it. It is not a big deal. I don't do the edits that uh, Mr. Cody does. I throw this up. This is mostly to be a administ you know, a uh, analytical tool for the units is kind of the purpose of this stream for me to kind of give you guys an overview of what's going on. You guys can see what worked, what didn't work, see if your perception of the battle line up to uh, what actually happens, and you know, maybe see areas you can improve or things to sustain. You keep going. And well, right now, so. It looks like the CSA is absolutely winning this gunfight, even without the Artie. I wonder where, again, the casualties are really coming from. Who is getting nailed? I do more views of the CSA. The, the problem with the CSA for me coming in to do a few is, you know, the, you know, the corn is kind of in the way. Um, so I'm not really doing as many. Um, Find this next one up, boys. Keep it together. Keep it together. We're you know, I, I could, but it's it's you know. It, Reload and check when ready. Doesn't look as nice. <laughs> no, we're, we're trying to get shot. We can respawn with rifles. There you go. It's one. Let's check back. See how the Artie's doing. So you say is now at taking losses here at the 30-minute mark. Union's got to be very judicious now. He's, he has nubs. Alright, is that it? That is the oh, last yeah, shot going into fire. this cannon right oh, they here. They are coming. They are coming to the rock. And oh. this cannon is oh. done. Sick burn. Sick burn, Chief. Ah. Chief. Ah. Wheel this motherfucker. I hope these guys go back Chief, and, uh... Doing We're doing a funny, boys. Oh, my God, they're charging. Oh, I... Union is coming into cap? This... I... Would. I mean, it's seven minutes. Um, this is an interesting decision here. I don't know if I agree with this, but we will see what Zamster is thinking here. He might be, um, he might be trying to bait him out. Um, or he might want to do a fight here over point. And that was the last shot. It's over now, Zap. That's all they got. And I think that was should have been saved for a more uh, opportune moment. And he's right. You want to be on your feet. You do not want to be giving up skirmishing uh, tickets right now. You don't really have cover, especially not with the firing angles that are going on. Now, this is kind of interesting here. So, again, Zap is kind of doing the same strategy. He still has his major force up here, kind of waiting to slam into the CSA on that corner. Or you've got this bait force down here um, trying to... Well, they're not trying to. They are capping point while the CSA 
remains basically in the cell formation with some, you know, skirmishers out here. Good job by the CSAC. This is what you should do. Once you're out of, you know, shells, stop being arty. Go, go spawn infantry. Very good job on them. All right, so there's a cap, and they have decided to pull back. Now, again, what's nice about this is you stop the timer right now. Uh, but, frankly, you already have tons of time, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but you do force the CSA to come out and decap, which is really what happens now. You're not really buying time, but you're trying to draw the CSA at least a little bit of it out. Um, the problem is, when you abandon this piece here, they can just go in with little skirmishers here and take it. Which, again, if you shoot them down, it's not bad. But, um... I think the CSA... Well, seven minutes is hard to get him down to uh, last stand here. So, again, I think that's a good move here. Yeah, see, it's exactly what they're doing. Just moving these little skirmishers out to recap. Um, and, in fact, they're also repositioning to overlook the point. Who is this over here? Um, it is, again, 10th U.S. They've been doing a very good job of their positioning all game. Um, to have a little bit of a better positioning here. To overwatch any guys that come over there. Oh, no, Riley has come back in. Maybe he's worried about an attack coming in from Maine. Or he might have said, hey, these guys can handle it. I'm going to put my guys back into the decisive point, which is going to be down here again. Ah, uh, this, uh, this is... These guys should pull back right now, I would say. Don't even bother decapping. Um, but this is going to be a meat grinder here. None of the CSA came off. And this is just gonna destroy the Union here in a in a bloody meat grinder. This is just gonna be a buzzsaw. Some of them missed. Now the problem with having this element out here this early was the uh, you know again the Union was able to get him. You have to wait for the Union to commit the charge before you send out that flanking force. And a very concentrated charge by the Union. The key is knocking this down here. And who is this? Rudish, he is coming in. And he is trying to knock down these flags here. This is going to be key. A very good move here by 9th Corps. If he can sustain it. And then they all kind of collapse here on this point. This might be a very solid position here for the Union. And an excellent attack here. Looks like they succeeded. Yep, they have indeed. Oh, here's a problem now. Oh, Lord. Oh, the CSA is sending in this element down here. Who is this? 10th US. I mean, they succeeded in knocking down the flag, but these are going to be very nice out of line kills. Oh, I, I don't know about sending this charge in at this point. I mean, the CSA has recapped. Um, again, that's why I said I, I don't know if I would have recapped there. Uh, I might have waited a little bit longer. In the, in the philosophy that, hey, you know, these guys are going to be over here. I mean, if you fell behind, you could have launched a counterattack, you know, gotten your tickets back. But um, I guess it doesn't matter. You're ahead on tickets, so I suppose it doesn't really matter all that much in the end of the day. And maybe you, you don't want to risk maybe of running out of time either. So maybe that's the philosophy on it, which I can understand. Maybe that's the right call. So it's definitely the safer call. Um, the problem now for the CSA uh, is they've lost this key position here, and there's still oodles of time left. Now, the Union is at breaking. Um, now, I wonder if the Union goes for a cap here now, or if they just try to shoot it out. I think they're going to try to shoot it out, and that's probably the smarter decision here, especially as you got these guys going for these flags here. You can watch that flag going up, and you just pick it off with fire, just like that, just like they're doing right now. See how they're doing this? These are huge tickets they're getting. I'm sorry, Squid. I actually like that song a lot. But anyway. So the CSA did get their flags back, but that cost them a lot of tickets doing it. And the rest of these guys that are forward here, I don't know whether you're doing forward. Who is this? Corded? What are you doing? We here? have cover. They don't. What are you doing up here? What are you guys doing up here? 
That's not corded. That's uh, Carolina. I apologize to corded. It's not even the right unit. I don't even think that's the right side. Man, I'm losing my mind tonight. Let's go. This is the best wall in America. This will be the greatest wall, the finest wall. Flag down, colors, colors, colors. Keep that flag up. I copy, they're gonna storm us on the center line. We must be ready. We must be ready. Um. We will not lose this ground. Are they capping? Um. Is it intentional to cap right now? I don't think it was. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, they pulled back in time. They caught it in time. I was like, this is this is not the time to cap. I don't think. Yeah. See, right now, if I was the union, I think I would just hold this position and just enjoy shooting them out here. We'll see if the CSA goes for a turtle option. So far, they are not doing so. Uh, it's very dangerous to do so. Because, again, the Union could just cap and... You gotta attack over open ground. It's Mr. Dench. I'm not sure about this move by 30th Ohio. It's, a, I mean, if it's a distraction, maybe that's what. Okay, so it was a distraction force, and here is the main element. Oh, this I don't know what. Two cores moving forward here is an intercept. Um, ugh, that's a lot of tickets you could lose. And here comes. Let's see how well this attack goes. I'm doing the flags. It's very hard for me to see in the corn. And here they go. Now, CSA is now at breaking. In goes Bradley. He gets a shot off. How many does Bradley kill? They're here. They're here. Just like your pretty limbs, man. Oh, he's still going. He's still going. Oh, and so far, Mr. Bradley. Yeah, see, the CSA is losing a lot in this attack here. Um, I mean, the theory might be go down to final push, get him down to final push, but it is very hard to do an attack in the corn here. And sending in onesies and twosies is going to be a huge ticket drain. They need to call this off okay, immediately. I'm there, so These are a lot of tickets they're giving up right now. Yeah, this, yeah, another five. Can't be giving up tickets like that. Yeah, kind of. And in fact, they're probably going to get shot out here. Yeah, see, they catch these two guys here. There's one. Yep, God Hunter just got ten tickets for his team. Yeah, I'm... <sighs> I get 30th Ohio being over here as a as a point guard, so I, I, I understand it. Um, but it, it really thinned out the attack and kind of kind of doomed it. I think. Um, does the CSA have enough schlitz in it to do another one? I think they do. I mean, the problem is you can't have guys out here. You can't be given out of lines. That is that. Got to get out of here, guys. Oh, don't do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, these... That's what's killing them right now. Just leave the flag. You'll pick it up when you do the attack. There's no need to do this right now. Just do it when you do the attack. You're going forward? Why are you going forward? I've just been trying to get his bearings. Yep, now he's dead. Buy more tickets. Oh, now we do have a forward movement over here. Is this... Uh, 
Who is this, 8th Ohio? Open order. No, it's 30th. Open order. So it looks like just a demonstration now. Oh, it is Cody. Like I said, he does some great videos, man. So I'm sure everybody on here is watching his shit. So I don't think I need to hype him up too much. <laughs> I think he hypes himself. But um, yeah, I really like this video he did for the last one. So looks like we have a big move by the Union here. And it looks like they're going for the cap here. Although the CSA is positioned here to counter them. I think it's going to come down to how well Senor Daz and the 30th holds here. They got some support. If they can hold pretty well here and kind of chew up the Union in enough time for the CSA to hit him in the flank, I think it'll work out pretty well. And so far, they're doing a pretty good job holding their position here. See, here comes the Union, but now here comes this flank attack. Now, there is some reserve for the Union out there. But the problem is, where are the flags? Actually, that's the critical point. All right, the flags need to stay back and need to kind of spawn people in, in my opinion. The flags go down. The Union's in a lot of trouble. But, okay, here comes Ninth Corps. Here comes Brutish. Trying to cut off the reinforcements in a nice counter move. Now you see CB had a great hold, and here came the reinforcements. Now they're going to flood in. And now here comes the flood. If they can knock out the flags for the CS, the, if the Union flags go down, if the CSA wins this, uh, they're in a very good position. But they are behind on tickets, and they have just gone down to the last stand. There's the final push, but the Union flags are up. And I think this firing line here, two core SB, I think they can hold it. Brutish did a great job, and he's still pushing his men forward here, kind of disrupting the back line here, keeping the CSA busy. A great move by Ninth Corps. Fuck you, Yank. Break your reload. Slay him, boy, slay him. I'm pretty sure I'll be all right with that. Fuck you, Yank. I'm going to risk that one. I'm gonna risk that one. You I think I think I'll see now the out of lines don't matter anymore, so it's okay to kind of do this. But so the CSA is gonna flood in now, but the Union has a decent. Uh, did they spawn people main? Oh, just wait for the flag, dudes. Like you gotta like, man, man, oh man, just wait for the flags. If it's over a minute, if it's like over 12, yeah, or over 10, I'd say. If it's over 10, yeah, but otherwise, you know, less than a minute, you're coming in, man. But I think it won't matter. I think this flood will finish off the CSA right here. And this will be the end. I'm gonna gouge your eyes out. And that is the end. The Union is victorious. A very good battle. I was gonna say, very well executed, both of these plans. It was kind of a, um... I don't see anybody off really doing their own nonsense. You know, individuals, but, you know, both the units, all the units kind of working together. And I could definitely kind of see the two plans, and it was uh, definitely kind of a contest of wills there. So, um, and I think part of it, I'm, I'm going to say it, I think CSA already, I think he should have held a few of those shots until it was more opportune. I don't know if that would have made the difference, but I think I think it might have. You, know, you don't just shoot at everything, you got to wait for that decisive moment uh, to use that already. I, I mean, they were very good. I mean, you know, excellent shots, but I, I think you... Wasted a bit of time of shooting them a little bit too much on the top of the hill. I think you should have conserved a little bit more. But, um, very good Union attack taking that corner was probably the decisive point, that attack. Anyway, uh, we got one more coming up. Um, forget what it is. I'll look it up. Anyway, uh, it'll be 8th Alabama and SB fighting each other again. It's two leads.